All right, so this video is going to be part one of finding the distance from a point to a plane. So we want to find the distance from the point 1, 2, 3 to the plane x minus y plus 2z equals 4. Okay, and there's basically two ways to go about doing this, but they all start the same way, and that is by finding a point that's on this plane. Okay, let's find a point that's on the plane, and that's actually relatively easy. Okay, this plane is going to cross the x-axis, okay? We can see that because at the x-axis, y and z are going to be zero, right? So plug that in. We have x minus zero plus two times zero equals four. So x equals four. And that gives us a point on the plane, which is four comma zero comma zero. And now with this point, what we can do is find the vector that goes from this point to this point. Okay, and how we can end up doing that is, well, let's just say that we have one, two, three, okay, that vector. We're gonna subtract it from the position vector for this point right here, four comma zero comma zero. And that is going to be equal to, we have a negative three comma two comma three. Okay, now this is our vector B. Okay, this is vector B. So great, we have our vector B, but we also need to find our normal vector to the, for this plane. Okay, and our normal vector is just going to be 1, negative 1, 2. Right, it's the coefficients on x, y, and z for our plane in when it's in the, the linear equation. Okay, so our normal vector, 1, negative 1, 2. So now we have the normal vector, and just so I have space on the other side of the board, I'm going to write the b vector over here, negative 3, 2, 3. So now that we have vector n and vector b, we're going to move on to kind of the first way to try to find the distance here, and that's just to use straight up the, the component of b onto n. And that is going to be, right, it's going to be vector n dot b, and we're going to take the absolute value of that, okay? because we want the absolute value of our component, okay? And that's gonna be over the magnitude of n, all right? So, we can plug in here. We have the absolute value of vector n is going to be one, negative one, two. And we're gonna dot that with our vector b, which is negative three, two, three, and we're putting that over uh, the magnitude of vector n, which is just going to be the, the square root of the sum of the squares. Okay, that's just the distance formula. Square root is the sum of the squares. One squared plus a negative one squared plus a two squared. All right. So now we can find our dot product. That's going to be the absolute, we're gonna get the absolute value of one times negative three is negative three. Negative one times two is going to be negative two. Two times three is going to be a positive six. Okay, and this is all gonna be over the square root of we have a one plus one plus four, which is the square root of six. So we get that the distance is equal to one over rad six. So that's really it for this problem. Now, there is another way to, with that I mentioned in the last video, of how to just kind of expand this distance equation by doing the dot product here, just with, with variables in for n and b, and uh, you know variables in for the magnitude of n and all that stuff. And we're going to be doing a, an example of that in the next video. That's a little more memorization, but then you're just plugging in numbers and that's it. Okay, so uh, we'll do an example of that in the next video and I'll see you then. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.